You asked me whether or not I liked flowers before. Yeah. I didn't answer you back then, but I'll tell you now. The lifespan of a flower is extremely short. But in that brief moment in time, it lives with all of its might. I... Gardenia? Gardenia. Well, that was cryptic, <laughs> just like how Drac left the last episode. <laughs> so, ch shall we just start from there? Or? Yep, okay. keep, keep on going. So, just kind of get a little bit of a recap. I was reviewing Samurai 7. Um, and one of my problems is is that the mechs in it suffer from what I like to affectionately call Xenosaga Syndrome, where the limbs are horribly huge, ginormous arms and legs, and the body is this tiny little quick thing. Uh -huh. Kind of like why people have a lot of problem with the comics in the 90s. Yeah. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Also, the the swords are not katanas. I don't care what anybody says. Those things are giant freaking machete, as far as I am concerned, because they just don't have the sleekness or the the look of a katana. They look like a big rusty machete that has been wielded around. And guns. Oh, that's just a problem to me because, at least to my knowledge, samurai never wielded guns. So why are they wielding guns? Because future? It's been a while since I've watched it, so I kind of... I've forgotten if they actually wielded guns. Yes, they do, because okay. one of the things the villagers do is they actually procure some of those and fire them on their own. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, really? Well, the villagers do? Or the, 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 villager, the villagers do. Well, the villagers... From, from the samurai bots. From the... So, like, when, when the bandits are attacked, uh -huh. um, and then they take down the, the bigger samurai bots... Uh -huh. They take the guns from their bodies and use them. Well, that's the villagers. The What's the problem? No, my problem isn't that the samurai had them. The big samurai bots had them. So you're talking and the bad, them. the bad guys, yeah. Yes, the bandits. Well, well, yeah, they're they're the bad guys. It makes sense. They're the bad guys. They wouldn't have the honor. They wouldn't have that. So if, yeah, I mean, if you're talking like the main seven, then sure, I'd say you have a point. No, I, and here's the thing, too. If, if it was one of the seven wielding guns, I probably wouldn't have an issue with that, but um, just the guns were just as over-encumbering as, as the bodies were. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it really just took me out of the scene every time I showed those things. I'm like, I'm watching something else because this isn't the Seven Samurai 7. Well, no, it's a very loose interpretation of the Seven Samurai. But... Yeah. Hold on. Well, no, I, I'm just saying in the anime in general, when you, when you take a very steampunk tone and bring in a bunch of futuristic sci-fi elements, it doesn't feel steampunk anymore, you know? So, doesn't bother me. Uh, it, it, did, it doesn't normally bother me, but in this series, it, it kind of did. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, I liked it. Uh, I, I like the characters as well as the, not just the Seven Samurai, but I, I liked the sub-characters that they picked. You like the the main girl, the priestess girl. Um, yes and no. I I kind of like her. Um, I think she has some issues, especially during the later part of the series, where they try to make her too much of a like. I don't know how to explain this other than a schoolgirlish mentality, where she kind of develops a crush on the older samurai. Why is that about thing? Because they had already kind of established romance elements with her and the younger one, and I was I was one of those people like, oh, well, those two are cute together, and they'll they'll teach each other stuff, even though for some weird reason she's licking blood off his hand. And, ooh. Um, but yeah, they have that one moment where she kind of fawns over this older samurai because she doused him and found him. Um, so it must be destiny that they are together. Okay, so she's a little starstruck. I'm <laughs> failing to see the problem. Yes, that's that's kind of my issue with it. Um, if there was a sub character that I kind of resonated with, it would be. Um, I think I'm saying his name right, Rikichi, where he actually sold his wife to the bandits, and, and it turns out his wife became the wife of the emperor. Uh -huh. So um, that that was actually kind of a loving scene to me. Uh, always with Rikichi, just to see his pain and then see his gladness when everything gets resolved. So overall, I would recommend this wholeheartedly to people. I would recommend Samurai 7. Um, is it my favorite anime of all time? No. 
I don't even know if it makes my top 10, to be honest, but that's because a lot of my top 10 stuff would be mecha. Of you course. Know, that's, that's just because it's me, you know? Me, I like me some giant robots. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. You likes your slice of life. <laughs> you guys likes your Dragon Ball Zs, and I like that too. You guys like your Naruto's. I likes what I likes. Oh, personally, I'm a little tired of mechs and everything sci- because it feels like every sci-fi anime ever now, yeah. recently, it's either going to be a mech or it's going to be the next ghost in the show. Um, and I would agree with that. I think I think mechs are being kind of abused in sci-fi, especially like sci-fi anime. They're either utilized well or they're utilized poor, very, very, very poorly. Um, and when they're utilized well, it's okay, but when it relies too much on the mechs, this is why Gundam works. It's because there is stuff outside the mobile suits. Yes. There are characters. You watch them go through struggles. If it was a Monster of the Day show, it might make a little bit more sense for there be to be more of the mechs, but that isn't what these are. Um, is there one in particular you'd like to point out, and I can, I can kind of go with that or not uh, I still haven't watched Ice to Sidonia. I was gonna watch that on Netflix and I haven't gotten around to it I think it's still there isn't it I have no idea I guess I don't have anything in particular it's just I look at what's new and coming out in anime and it's just like when it comes to sci-fi it's like oh it's another mech it's another Cyberpunk, it's another post-apocalyptic show. It's just like, wow. Why does well, that's every, because that's why is, I know, but it's like, why is every sci-fi falling into one of these three categories? I agree. I, I think the same thing is is happening here, too, where, where too many sci-fi shows either fall into the tropes of we want to be the next Star Wars, the next Stargate, the next Star, uh, Star Trek, and they don't really expand outside of it. Mm-hmm. Um, or they just reboot the thing, like Battlestar Galactica. Now, Galactica is good, but there are other series that they try to reboot, and it just doesn't work. So, it's one of those things where I think sci-fi really needs to, to get a, a hard look. Now that we're in the year 2015, a lot of the futuristic stuff isn't necessarily so futuristic anymore. Yeah. So we actually need to go to the next level. Secret Might. I have no idea what a secret what it is, but oh, that's that's why uh, uh, you got to do it now. You got to do it. Item Item Cap Rage. <laughs> yeah, Item Cap Rage. That was forced. I know it was forced, but that's because this is post. It's time. It's goodbye here. Goodbye. What are you saying? Are you? No, you can't. No. There's nothing you can do about it. How can you be so selfish? Huh? Well, you said life and goodbye and... I see. I think there's been a huge misunderstanding. Dang right there has been! I'm saying that because I am busy, the amount of time I spend online is as short as a flower's life. Well, if you put it like that, anyone would have made the same mistake. Would they? It doesn't matter. Well, I have things I must do, so I'm going back. Call me again. Verdania. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do this, Alex. I know you like her. So, but why did we come to this area again? I don't know, Kite. I don't know. So, I'm going to have to give the uh, merit badge of trolldom to Gardenia <laughs> for making us think that she was dying. So, sorry, sorry, Alex, that has to be done. She trolled us. It's her own fault for being so cryptic. Exactly. So, this is why I'm giving her the troll award. You knew you were going to die tomorrow. Well, what do you think we're going to exactly. think about that? Exactly. <laughs> oh, come on, Gardenia. And then you then you make it even worse by talking about the lifespan of a flower. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, she's going to die. Don't talk in metaphors. No, don't. No. <laughs> Gardenia, you're not allowed to talk in metaphors anymore. You obviously don't use them properly. Oh no, it's our super villain Grunty. Yep. Yeah. See if he had anything good. Nope, he doesn't. 
Of course not. He's a super villain. He's keeping all that stuff for himself. <laughs> I love though. It's funny that he's like so. Oh, I wish I shall serve you with all my will. But then he actually like talked to him and he's like, "Well, compared to Marie Antoinette, you're nothing, and you'll be serving her for all eternity." <laughs> Yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Noble Grunty, you worry me. You're gonna steal a monument. Oh, well, and more item cap rage. Yeah. Welcome S back to the tropes of Dot Hack. <laughs> where Alex has way too much stuff in his inventory, he knows what to do with. That's true, I do. And I'm, I'm just a terrible inventory hoarder <laughs> in this game. Do we need to have an intervention? Probably. <laughs> That's gonna be an interesting phone call. So you're saying he's courting game items? And how is that affecting your house? Well, not really, but he's hoarding game, game items all the time. I probably should have kept I one of those see. axes because Terajima has absolutely nothing good right now. You probably should have. But do could have, should have, would have, but didn't. But then that would be contributing to your hoarding problem. Mm -hmm. We want to see you get a be get better, Alex. I know, that's the problem, is I need to give stuff to Black Rose, but she's been unavailable for a good chunk of this first half of the game. Yeah. Um, well, and, and that's kind of the issue, too, is, like, certain players are only available at certain points. Mm -hmm. So, if we come across... And it, usually, this is kind of how things go, and people can call us wrong if they want to. But, like, when we, we get an item for that particular person, we're like, oh, we gotta save that, they're not available. Yeah. So it was like, crap, now we have to keep track of it. And by the time they're actually available, we forgot about it. Because that's the way ADD works. <laughs> it's true. It's we are, true. We are all a little Yui inside. Yep. So with, with that, all anime updates are done. Can we all give, give a round of applause? Give a round of applause. Adam, Adam was able to remember this for two weeks. Two long weeks. Uh, so that he could do it again. So, yep. give, give me a round of applause. You know. Golf clap. There you go. Now, uh, track is going to the uh, 14th hole. Yeah, we're not we're not continuing that joke. <laughs> but well, because then we gotta get like Happy Gilmore. I still haven't seen that movie actually. You've never seen Happy Gilmore? I've seen pieces of it because. Because my wife watches it a lot, but <laughs> uh, it's never gotten around. To it's like it one of two Adam Sandler movies that I actually can stand to watch. Oh well, Adam Sandler movies I, I've seen very few. Oh, all right, keep your pants on. Yes, please, Alex, keep your pants on. We, we don't need to have that moment on the internet. No. We don't need to have a repeat of Anthony Weiner. I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, wherever you were politically, that was kind of funny. <laughs> you got to admit, it is. <laughs> Just like, hey, what an idiot! This guy's a total douchebag. Posts it up on the internet and doesn't care that he's got tons of paparazzi watching him. And I love the people who actually came out in, in support of him. Is like, whatever, whatever, I do what I want. <laughs> Spun bloody tragedy. That's how the internet saw you. Sorry, guys. So, the monster that I'm looking for is really here? That's what it said on the board. But why are you looking for that monster? There are things. There are things that you can't understand. Things Great, you... we're in for another cryptic run! <laughs> things you wouldn't understand. Things you shouldn't understand. Things you couldn't understand. I don't understand. Well, one thing we can't understand. Grunty music! There you go. There's somebody new out there who's like, why do they keep on screaming grunty music? First of all, thank you. Welcome, you're new here. Yeah. There, please see all the other dot hack LPs. <laughs> Second, this is just what we do. It, yes, it is. And what do we get? We get Apchuka, which raises our wood element. Which is probably good, because we're on an earth field. No, you don't get another one. You don't... Grunty music. There you go. That's all 
all you get. I'm trolling. I'm trolling the audience. It's official. I'm trolling the audience. There's the dungeon. Yes. So let's get into the dungeon. Is this gonna be another Jabu Jabu Belly? No, this is a spell. Yay! A... No more Jabu Jabu Bellies. Which is actually kind of funny because um, Jabu Jabu Belly is gonna be something that Alex gets to know pretty soon. Is it now? Is it? Yes. Now that now that we have started up the Zelda series of games. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. That turtle looks like it came out of the universe of Billy and Billy. I'm just saying. <laughs> or Grim Fandango, one of the two. My dog! Speaking of games, I need to go and finish. My dog! Excuse me. This is what happens when you have lunch and then you record. You get the hiccups. Yep. So, just to kind of reiterate, the, the reason that we're, we're going for this dungeon is there's a specific monster that, that Marlow wants to kill, right? Yes. The necrotic eye or something like that? Yep. What? So, I died? Exactly. He did die. Take you or not, Marlo. Yeah, he's not a tank because he's a heavy... because he's a... I don't think blade. He's a, a blade master. Your tanks are going to be your heavy axe and your and your heavy arms. And, My apologies. Uh, he's our makeshift tank. <laughs> I could have brought Pyros along, but the internet thanks you. It's not even that Pyrrhos is an annoying character, because he really isn't. He's just an odd character. He is odd, indeed. I use the voice of Cosmo. Well, the fairly odd parent. He is, and, I, and the weirdest part of that is I enjoy Cosmo more than I do Pyrrhos. <laughs> Try and figure that one out in your head. Alright, so Stone Storm. I have to say it. Oh, sorry, Alex. It can't be avoided. Storm! Storm! Redeem. That's yet another WoW boss that actually... He, he's just a, a collection of bones, and so Redeem. during the fight at one point, he actually will scream out, Bone Storm! And that's, that's the ability. Bone okay. Storm. Now, I swear, every time I look at the Marlo avatar, I'm like, dude, is there some point in the world where you can just sell your soul to the devil? Because <laughs> it just looks like that's what he did. Not in this game, man. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't food in this game. Wow. More like in the next series of games, there's something along that line. Oh, and by the way, elemental hit! <laughs> The return of Macho Man Randy Savage, because I'm not dealing with Strep no more. And Alex is just happy about that, because yes. now I can do the Macho Man voice. Hold on. Oh, that'll be five bucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna kill. Uh... It's almost like I'm an evil capitalist. I want to get paid for using my voice. I was just gonna give you five kicks in the pants, because that's five bucks, right? What was that? That's five bucks, right? Because I was going to give you five kicks in the pants. No, that's not five bucks. Oh, did you, I'm sorry. Did you want five doll hairs? Your sibling, Did your siblings never tease you like that? Where you, like, demand them cash and they'll, like, either kick you or give you, or pretend to give you doll hairs? No, I was the young, I was the second youngest, so usually that was, I don't know you, Jack. Also, because I was usually the one that's saying, like, you owe me five bucks if I do this, and they never agreed. <laughs> so I was just like, I don't owe you anything. No, you totally do. I'm telling mom. 
Obviously, it never works. Too drawn. Funny thing how you learn stuff about your childhood when you're growing up. You're like, hmm, yeah, that never worked. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm sure that's happened to Alex. Yeah. I'm sure he'd like to tell. I kind of did with the whole bucks for and doll hairs thing. That's that's what my siblings would do to me. Okay, now now I need an explanation here. Like, I, I, it could be something. I'm married to your sibling. Yeah. So. It could be something simple, stupid, like, okay, I bet you five bucks this, and she'd be like, okay, and she, like tries to kick me or something. <laughs> there are five bucks! No, and, and I'm like, no, it's doll. I said dollars! I'm like, oh, okay, I'll give you five doll hairs. Bring that up on another episode. I want to see her reaction to this. If she can even recall that. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the problem is, is that I can see my wife doing that. I, I really can. See, I'm the I'm the youngest in my family. <laughs> yes. Hold on. So yeah, I can I can see your sister uh, picking on you. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to feel fanfic or anything like that. Yes, I got married to his sister. <laughs> I actually did have somebody ask, did you get married to his brother or something? I didn't think that was allowed in your town. <laughs> when did we ever say no. brother? <laughs> I think at one point we were talking about about uh, Andrea and then we went into probably like my brother or something like that said so he misconstrued it. Uh -huh. So it's just like, mm, yeah, no, sorry. I'm trying to fulfill fantasies here. I'm, I'm a very normal guy. He's very normal. So normal that, uh, well, there's not even a word for it because uh, he's normal. Exactly. And I got well water, but who wants well water? We want a Gaia spell, though. Yeah, Gaia spell. I got so much magic, I don't even know what to do with it. With the flick of a wrist, Kite can now destroy the world of Gaia, and therefore no more Final Fantasy games. It could be like uh, in Fantasy Star Wars, all they have to do is wave their finger. It could be out. Fantasy Star 3 to be exact. <laughs> Boom! Hmm. Also, so so one person actually made the request of we're in Dot Hack Outbreak. Are there gonna be references to the Armageddon spell? There hasn't really been one! Not yet. Because we haven't dealt with the bracelet at all. I'm sure when we get there, we will. I mean we did hit we did do the Hideo Kojima powers, so yeah. That's coming back, because I have a feeling we're going to break into places again. <laughs> it's funny, I just watched uh, Romney's review of Chappie, and even <laughs> he was like, they put a Hideo Kojima bot in there. Did they? <laughs> the, the whole, yeah. The oh, the moose, yeah. Yeah, the moose. <laughs> that was totally Rex. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Romney made that joke in his own review. I... I have a feeling this is going to be going to be something that has to be brought up when we actually get together to review it. Yeah. Because I have to, I have to come out with a snake for this. Let's see, what is Rex doing in this movie? Colonel, here. Now, I, I also think when we were recording this, we did actually refer that this is basically a recycled model of the the Chaos Dragon that Mistral wanted to tank. Yeah. <laughs> uh Mistral suddenly thought she could be a melee character. Didn't he at one point, like, knock her off into a pit or something? No. But she, he would always go after her, which was sad, because he could easily one-shot her. Yeah, but I could have sworn he had, like, this big knockback, because she'd fly back, and then he'd follow her. Yeah. And then he, we'd have to bring him back. Well, the way the arena was, we'd try and get him away from her in case us, then we, like, died for Elemental hit! Yeah, we'd like stay dead for a while, just hoping she'll finally resurrect us. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I, it, that was funny because she didn't have the spell for resurrect, so I had to go off and buy her 99 resurrects. And this is this is why randomness is funny because Alex had planned this out and made sure that he did everything, and everything he had planned went right down the toilet because Mistral. Forest Holbrook. Well, 
was that your was that your Sean Connery? Frost Harbor. Sean Connery. Tell me something, money bunny. I like to do that, but I get to know you. Okay, well that's Robin Williams doing Sean Connery. Yeah, that really is. <laughs> Item cap reach! For yet another silver scarab that we're probably gonna sell. Well, that's all they're for, is selling. Yeah. Because they give you money. And then we gave up another silver scarab. Oh, but we did not stay long enough to watch the statue fall. Okay, maybe we did. Not, never mind. Wise man, our good healer. Yes. Uh, and do, do I sense a boss fight coming? Oh, oh. Oh. And we're gonna troll you till next week! Ha! <laughs>